I'm afraid that many traders ultimately don't really know how well they're performing. I Honestly, I've met way too few traders that actually go through the effort and trying to um, figure out what their equity curve cleaned of withdrawals and deposits uh, really looks like. And because that's a lot of work to do that. And uh, we all have the tendency of uh, staring at a screen and uh, seeing the market go in a certain direction. And then we have the urge to say, oh, I, I want to take that swing. I firmly believe that it is just a bad move to do unless you can prove yourself that your senses are actually good. And so um, you need to prove yourself that your rules are actually Good and the the problem there is w when you do this live with uh, while trading your own account. Well, it will take you decades to figure out whether your senses are actually good enough to make the right decisions. And if they aren't, this is going to be very very painful and very expensive for you. And what the quantitative side does for you is that at least it shows you with an Minutes, you can have the experience that other people need to make in 50 years of trading. Within minutes, you can see, okay, if I did this, then that happened. And you, I can figure out, does this make sense or not? And I, I, one other thing that, honestly, I've, I've learned to appreciate is to have strategies with rules that I can, I can understand, where I can say, yeah, at least in, in my worldview, this is the right thing to do, and here's why instead of just, uh, chasing some some random uh, re, um, uh, how should I put it some random correlation because ultimately correlation is not causation and uh, it, it might be that something else might be the better target to chase and well and to get into that well ultimately I guess you need to learn to code and learning to code is is fun and it is it is actually a great skill to have because there are so many problems that you can um, look at this way uh, and it's it doesn't need to be super hard you you can start small and um, and see where it takes you and if you look at uh, the Turing Trader open source project then that project comes um, with a source code for a bunch of strategies uh, that I've taken from books and publications. And what's great about that is you, you can have the book or the publication in one hand and the source code on your screen, and you can compare and see, hey, how did he do this? I, I see this rule here. Where do I find that in the code? And uh, reading somebody else's code and figuring out how the code corresponds to the rules, that honestly, I think is a great way to learn. And uh, for anybody interested in learning to code and learning to code these uh, types of uh, strategies, I honestly, I recommend looking at our showcase strategies and uh, seeing if they, they can get started that way. Hey, it's Evan here. I hope you enjoyed this clip from our full length interview. Don't forget, if you want to hear this entire episode with even more insights from our awesome guest, you can find it by searching the Smarter Trading Podcast in iTunes or on your favorite podcast app. You can also find all of the show notes for this episode by heading to thetraderisk.com forward slash podcast. Thanks for tuning in.